A shell challenge, yes. CJ actually just uploaded a video. I'm sure a lot of you know who CJ is. So this is CJ's video where he did his shell challenge and I watched it and I was like, you know what girl, I'm up for a damn challenge. I am and it looked like fun. So basically um, it's like a, this challenge that he does every year. He does a different shell and this is a shell that he made for this year. It's looking a little demonic, not gonna lie. I don't know what he was thinking, but anyways, the point is we have to turn this into a building. So yeah, it should be a lot of fun. CJ did a community lot for his shell, but I think I want to try and do a house. I think I want to try and do a house. This looks freaking crazy as hell though, but I feel like we can do it. So what I envision for this, I guess let me tell you that first, is a modern house, but like a modern green thumb house. So like I'm thinking like grass roof somewhere, maybe some plants up here. I don't freaking know girl, but I just want it to be very modern, clean, sleek, but with greenery. And that's why I kind of plopped us down here in Lucky Palms because I thought this is kind of the perfect town for this kind of build that I'm thinking of doing. I don't know if it's going to turn out good, but I'm going to try my best. Wallpaper might be kind of hard though because that's the normally this is the wallpaper I like to use, but this is like for freaking regular suburban houses, I feel like. I have this one. I do like this one, but I feel like this should be an accent wall if anything. It's actually really pretty. What is this? What is this? What is this over here? <laughs> what are we supposed to do with that? We'll figure it out, I guess, but it's just confusing me. Hold on, maybe we use this for the accent. And then I kind of really like that one though, but hold on, because what we can also do is do this wallpaper. I know this one's ugly, but just bear with me, look. So this is what we can do with her. We can go to masonry. I think that's how you say that. And then click on one of these so that it looks like rock or whatever. See, just like a clean white wall like that maybe. I feel like that's kind of boring. I, maybe this and the stone. I don't know if I like this paneling. Unless we do it in like a wood color. I feel like that would maybe be kind of cool. Maybe like that. That's kind of nice. So we can't build any walls. Actually, why don't I tell you guys the freaking rules to this challenge before we do anything else? So CJ's rules are do not change the exterior walls. You may only use items from the base game, expansion packs, stuff packs, and store content. No custom content CC is allowed, which not an issue with me, girl. I don't got none. Oh, and that's it. So just do not change the exterior walls, I guess. You know, I don't, I thought I had a vision and I don't know if I really do. <laughs> Why don't we just do this whole thing white for now and then we'll figure it out after. And then maybe we can just add these like wooden accent walls here and there. Maybe one up here. I'm not sure what's going to be what yet. I'm just kind of like doing stuff as we go, by the way. So she looks a little wonky. It's because she is. It is a 20 by 20 lot. That's what CJ built it on. So that's what I kept as well. All right. So this is pretty good for the exterior. I'm kind of happy with this. I know it looks crazy hell but don't worry now why don't we work on the interior what is this where the hell are we gonna put stairs here do stairs even fit over here i don't think so i really don't like spiral stairs i like these but i don't know if oh no we'll be able to perfect I'm trying to think though what's a good layout here Ooh. what if we do the stairs over here uh-huh 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 because this room is freaking shaped weird and it's long Okay, I'm gonna put them there for now and then we'll see. I was thinking we could do something like this underneath the stairs. Ooh, the bamboo would honestly be really cute if we really want to make it like eco-friendly-ish looking. And then we do like a cute little garden underneath the stairs. That would be so cute. All right, so why don't we start with the walls? So, damn, this sucks so <laughs> I wanted to make this a room, but honestly, I don't know if we'll be able to. She's kind of wonky. Girl, the bed won't fit. Uh, hold on a damn minute. Oh my god, I didn't know CJ was going to be stressing me out today. It's just kind of crazy to me. All right. I mean, we could do a master bedroom over there, but then we would have to change these stairs to something else or just move them over. Okay, so basically now what we can do is do this. Oh, that is such a skinny kitchen. So I want this to be my kitchen. This little skinny area over here. Or it could be a hallway. And then it could lead to the backyard over here. And then we can have a nice little tiny but like lap pool. That could be a hallway. And then the kitchen over here. Living room over here. That could work. 
That is a really big room, though. Do we really need it to be that big? Probably not. Okay, but then we have, like, this weird situation up here, and I don't know what I'm going to want to do with this. We'll figure it out, I suppose. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit a uh, living room, a dining room, and kitchen here. I'm not too sure about that. What if we do a bathroom in there? Just kind of, like, weirdly shaped. We have the toilet, the shower room, and then the two sinks. One over here, one over there. Oh! <gasps> That could honestly be kind of cool. And then over here, we could do a little archway to the kitchen. It'll be a very, very tiny kitchen. But you know what, girl? It'll work, I suppose. And then... Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. It's a weird layout, but it looks nice. So why don't we add the windows really quickly? I like these because they're more with, like, the vibe that I want to go for. I'm wondering if we want to do them wooden. Or is that ugly? Oh, that's kind of nice. The wood is nice. I love that because then I want the walls to be like nice and white I think just very simple why don't we do that now it's kind of nice we'll do plain white we're gonna do a different texture though okay why don't we just color all the walls so you know we got a nice little vision and also I have an idea for that little square right there we're not gonna black it out and we're actually gonna use it I have a good idea for that one and then over here I also have another idea but I'm gonna leave that for last so over here I want a cute little kind of patio situation I think um, or like a garden yeah I think a garden would be pretty over here so we're gonna do that so we'll do a little garden over here that's gorgeous Oh my god, why was that so loud? That sounded like a war. That is perfect. That's what I want. Oh my gosh. And then over here, we can have a cute little door for the bathroom. I love that door, but it's like, girl, where's the privacy? It don't exist, clearly. I mean, I guess we could go with th this door. It's the most modern, but I just hate how short it is compared to like everything else. But I am, I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm going to have to go with because we really don't got no other options. Oh, that sucks. It's freaking lopsided. That is kind of the perfect door, though, for this type of house. Hold on a minute. She's coming together. Wait, I kind of love it. I love that door. I've never used this. I'm pretty sure this comes with... I don't know, actually. I'm not too sure. So anyways, we're going to keep it moving. I don't know wh who she is, where she's from, what's her name. I'm not too sure about her life story. All I know is that we're going to use her because we love her. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to look ugly because it's so short, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to grab this and just go ahead and put it on upstairs over here. I just need a one of these, a column. That's kind of cool, but I don't want it to be like futuristic. I just want it to be like eco-friendly. So, I mean, we could go with those. I kind of want a square one though. That's too crazy. This one. This is the one that I always like to use. I just, I'm boring. I use the same stuff. Oh my goodness. Hold on a minute because I'm kind of slaying. All right. So over here, I kind of want this to lead to the backyard. So I think I want to use this door. And for the windows, I think we're going to stick with the same ones. Okay. Let me put down my kitchen counter so that I can see what we're working with. I'm definitely going to use this one. The ones from late night because they're the most modern ones that we have. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to recolor them, but I just want to figure out the windows in here first. So I just need to see how high the counters are. That's the problem with The Sims 3 is we don't have a lot of windows that fit with the counters perfectly. I have these, but these are store content and I don't know if he's going to have it. He did say store content is allowed, but I just don't know if he's going to have these in particular. So you know what I could do though? We could use these and then hide it with a hedge or maybe even just like this one or two of these and then hide the fact that it's a long window with a hedge or something i really wish we had the hedges that people have in the sims 4. i know it's freaking ugly but just bear with me here so this is what i was thinking we could just hide it with a hedge and then put plants in there you know what i mean you can still very much so tell though <laughs> ah let's see how it looks from afar i mean it's not that bad I mean, we could also just do one just so that it's not like super obvious. That actually looks good, does it, with two? And then we just hide the fact that, you know, you can see the counters with something. I wish we had like something to place here. Let me see if I can find something. What about these nasty freaking lights? What if I color them to like a wood color? Hold on a freaking minute. Oh my God, I'm smart. Ew, this is not really what I wanted, but it could work. What if I make it white? Nah, I like the wood better. Hold on. It'll just look like a design on the house. A design that's glowing, unfortunately. But you know what, girl? That's not bad. Uh, hold on a freaking
freaking minute. You know, it kind of hides what I'm what I needed it to hide. You can see it from inside the house, but whatever. I mean, I could drag them down a little more. Oh, it looks like a little design. That's not too bad. Let's try it too, though. It looks like a little design. It is going to be glowing at night, though, I'm pretty sure. That's the only weird part, but I don't know, girl. It is what it is. That's all right. We still got to put plants in here. Maybe let's drag them down a little more just so that they're like nice and flush with everything. We could technically get away with the shorter hedge. Let me just try it. Let me just try it out. That's not bad with the shorter hedge. Ooh, these are kind of nice and they look like they belong in the desert. We do have sunflowers. I just don't know if it matches. Wait, that's kind of cute, you guys. It looks like overgrown. What palms are around here? It's like those big ones. Maybe we can do those. Ooh, even something like this is really cute. We have this one. This one could work like over here in the corner, I think, because in the backyard, I do want to make it like a little oasis. I'm going to just keep that there for now. No, so anyways, over here, I want to do a nice little pool. <laughs> you know, a very tiny one. That's that's really sad. Maybe we won't have one. <laughs> Maybe we won't have a pool. I, I think we're going to do the trees last. I have to see the whole build finish before I can choose trees. I have the pool on the side the palm was on. Oh, yeah, that's right. We could do it over here. It'll be like a pool that's underneath this. Why is that kind of sick? You like it? All right, we'll keep it for now. Oh, I had an idea for this. I didn't even tell you guys my idea. We might have to get rid of the pool. Should we only do one pillar? I feel like one pillar would look really freaking weird, though. That's freaking ugly. That's freaking ugly. Anyways, here was, this was my idea. This could be like where the car goes, you know, a little carport or whatever. And then this leads us to our backyard. I feel like it just looks off. Yeah, we might be getting rid of the pool. <laughs> I'm just not a very big fan of her. So we're gonna do an archway over here. And then basically that leads us to the backyard. You know what I mean? Like it'll be stunning. And then we can do a little fence because I'm pretty sure we can build fences. Okay, so over here in this little weird section. So one of them is gonna be the shower and then the other one is gonna be the toilet room. Mm, I'm pretty sure we can just go with the little square ones. Okay, so let's color these. Uh, they redeem Spanish for five minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're right. Creo que aquí en medio también quiero hacer como un jardín chiquitito. Podemos seguir poniendo... Y se mira feo. No sé si me gusta. Lo que podemos hacer es también llevar esto por acá. Uh, o algo como así. Ok. Y creo que vamos a poner la girasol igual aquí en medio. Creo que me gusta así como quedó de enfrente la casa. Aquí lo que quiero poner es un cerco. Quiero uno bonito. No sé si este tal vez... Pero no sé en qué color, tal vez, no sé si de madera o blanco. De madera queda, queda bien bonito, me gusta. Ok, todo esto es lo de atrás. No sé si conectarlo hasta, hasta aquí, no sé. No, creo que aquí solamente va a ser un jardín también. Vamos a hacer un jardín. Creo que diferentes plantas serán lindas. Sí, las podemos cambiar también, las plantas de enfrente. Sí, porque está quedando todo casi igual. Todo lo que sé es, tú comes manzanas. Es como yo. En francés, la única cosa que sé cómo decir es un jugo de manzana, por favor. Creo que tomé dos años de francés en la escuela y solo eso lo, es lo que se me quedó. Un jugo de manzana, por favor. Así que si voy a, Fran a Francia algún día, sé cómo pedir un jugo de manzana. Qué bueno. Creo que aquí también esto quiero poner una pared porque quiero hacer como un closet. Quedó feo, pero <risa> algo así. Para mientras, me gusta cómo está quedando de abajo. Me gusta bastante. Ya solo faltan cinco segundos para español. Me voy despidiendo. Muchas gracias. Se los agradezco. Fue un placer. Okay, we're back to English. <laughs> we didn't understand a word you said. Heart. I love that. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. I just feel so connected to everybody i love that Ooh, shrubs over here girl maybe this is just shrub city over here ew that's freaking ugly you don't even gotta tell me hold on maybe with the white it'll look better the white roses okay that's nice you know what we could also do use this one to kind of bring this other green back in here Ooh, i kind of like that because it just matches better Okay, so this is going to be... I think I'm going to do a little patio over here. Over here, I want to do another little patio on this side. That'll be cute. Kind of overlooking the backyard oasis that we're going to make. So now for this roof-atory. 
Hmm, that's kind of ugly. And it's inside my damn room. So actually, no thank you. Please come again. Now that kind of ruins my entire house. Get the hell off of there. Move. All right, you know what? Maybe we just won't use that. Maybe we'll use it over here. That's freaking ugly, girl. I mean, maybe it's not, though. Maybe it's not. And maybe we can do, like, some, uh, what do you call them? Some windows? <gasps> Hold on! So, I don't know where the hell these windows are from, girl. But I have them. So, I might as well use them. They are store content. I just don't know from where. They they go on the bottom of the floor. Do any of you know where this is from? For some reason, these windows go to the bottom of the floor. Cannot change style. What a bunch of stinking baloney. I want to keep those windows because they're like skylights, you know? They're kind of cool. Not really, but they're like all the way up on the wall. It's kind of cool. So this is going to be a flat roof. Mm -hmm. And then all of this is going to be flat because it's just not going to work out. I mean, maybe we can do some sort of roofing over here. Yeah, I think over here we can. Leave me the hell alone. We'll just drag her down like right there. Wait, that's kind of nice. Or is it ugly? It's kind of ugly. <laughs> Hold on. I guess that works. That'll do. The only problem is we're eating our closet. I mean, I guess we can do a half wall around the whole roof too. Half walls don't count, do they? Nah, he used half walls in his build, so I'm okay. <laughs> because I was about to say, am I disqualified? That's freaking hideous though, hold on a minute. All right, maybe we just do the half wall there and pretend it's a chimney. And then over here, we're just gonna use a tiny little fence piece. That's kind of stunning. Ooh, wait a minute, she's coming along or whatever. Gorgeous, honestly, this house is turning out so nice. I was thinking of doing the two single windows, but I don't know if I want to do those. That could be a nice change from all the other ones. That way we don't keep using the same ones over and over again. Oh, it's not centered with the top. I mean, I guess we could just get rid of one of these. Maybe we make this part white because, you know, the actual wall is wood. So we make these white. Oh, the middle with the brown is cute. That's nice. Okay, I like that. I just recently found out that we could color this little section. Life-changing, honestly. It's kind of insane to me. This little trim piece, look at it. It just changed to white. What color should we do? I mean, I definitely want to do this room from Aurora Skies. I just don't know if CJ is going to have it, but I'm going to go with this one because it's the most like modern, clean looking one, I guess. I mean, we do have this one. Actually, this is not bad. This black one. I'm definitely going to change the color of the ceiling over here to black. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Girl, it's solar paneled. Okay, don't even worry about it. Oh, no! My dreams have been crushed. I can't put a damn tile here because the stairs are there. Oh, all good things come to an end. And that's just the way it is. How freaking sad is that? I mean, I can add walls in here. So maybe I'll just hide that. <laughs> I, listen, you're allowed to add walls inside. You're not allowed to add walls outside or extend anything. So this is technically not cheating. I don't know if this is too much. You know what I mean? Like, they're not aligned with each other. The freaking doors, they're kind of lopsided. But I feel like it's not that bad, right? That's not bad, right? Okay, we're going to grab this fake grass just so that it's like completely done in here. I hope they're still able to use the stairs. That is the only problem with doing this. I'm crying. Why is the stairs just a stick? No, it's not a st Where's the glass? Oh, there they are. Ew, they look kind of ugly. Now you made me insecure about my stairs. Fine, I'll change them. Oh, that's much better. I, I still don't know what to do down here. Honestly, girl, I'm about to just leave it sand at this damn point because you know what? I thought I had a vision and clearly I do not. Not bad, I guess. Put a sculpture, waterfall underneath. <gasps> what if we do the waterfall in the middle? Oh my god, this is honestly so stunning. I might tear up a bit. Oh, that is such a cute little feature wall. You know what would have been nice over here, but I want to put a TV on the wall. It would have been nice to have an exit to get to the backyard through here. Oh, maybe we can do one through the master bedroom. Oh girl, they don't have any windows in here. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm going to delete these archways. I want it to be like a master closet, so... Well, no, not a master closet. Like a little walk-in closet. I'll do that. And that's going to be the closet. What do we do for this over here? I have no freaking clue, girl. I mean, I guess we don't have to push this out all the way. That is so cute. This is such like... I don't know. I would see a Sim who's like famous living here, but like they're kind of like that low-key type of famous, you know? 
or I don't know, like a quiet CEO sim living here would be kind of cute. So I had an idea of making the driveway over here. I do want to change the mailbox, by the way. So actually, let me do that. This is from Ambitions and it's honestly perfect. I'm pretty sure that's from Ambitions. Okay, we'll do mailbox right there, I suppose. I think it should be fine going through the fence. Oh, that is so stinking cute. This house is so cute. This is so cute. And if you're saying, girl, a car is not going to fit there. Yes, it freaking is. Okay. Yes, it is. Cars are three freaking tiles in The Sims 3. Watch. It's because the trash can is in the way. You just don't know. Watch. It's because the freaking archway is in the way. Hold on a minute. But here, just so I can show you that I'm right. See? 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 If the archway wasn't there, it would have fit. So, technically, I'm right. Do you think I could sell feet pick? Yeah. Do you think they could sell for more because they're webbed? <laughs> Anyways, I have to do the backyard. So, why don't we start with our jacuzzi oasis first off. Ooh, I also have this outdoor shower. Because, again, they're eco-friendly. Maybe they like showering outside in nature, girl. Should I go with that one? No, it's too big. I kind of like the smaller one, to be honest. Yeah, I like her the best. That way we can do plants around it. I'll do it over here and then we'll do the garden in the back behind it. And then over here, we're going to have a little skinny path, I think. And then it'll connect to the front area, the entrance. Look at how cute. It's like a little private shower. All right, so that's our little outdoor shower situation. That is a gorgeous tree. But is that what I want? Oh, that's a gorgeous tree. I'm keeping it. Oh, that is such a cute little corner. I know for damn sure a spider would fall on my head. Oh my God, by the way, you guys talking about spiders. So a couple of days ago, I was minding my own business, going outside as one does. And I'm walking on the sidewalk and there's this freaking nasty, thick spider girl. Like it was disgusting. It was kind of big. It was like this big. And I didn't want it to go inside because it was kind of near the front door. I was like, you know what, witch? I'm about to smush you. So I pick up a big rock, one that I know I won't miss with. And I throw it at the freaking demonic thing. And guess what the hell happens? The freaking witch had children on her. And they all start scattering. I was traumatized. It was the worst day of my life. I honestly felt like puking. It was quite disgusting. And I'm still recovering. It was nasty as hell, girl. And then I start throwing more freaking rocks at them. So that, that, you know, they wouldn't escape and I would kill them. So anyways, that's what happened to me. Oh my god, look at how fabulous this is. Look at how cute. All right, so this is our cute little garden area. Honestly, it's so stunning back here. This should not take that long to furnish. Let's start with our bathroom. I think I wanna go with this tile. It's nice and simple. I think we're gonna go with this one though. Oh, no, 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 no. We can go with this one. Yeah, this one's nicer. Ooh, no, I don't know if CJ has that. This is high-end loft stuff. Ooh, but it fits the theme perfect though. I mean, listen, if he doesn't have it, it's okay. And for those of you who don't have high-end loft stuff, you can honestly just change it for whatever other shower. I'm just going to make the colors in this house very basic and boring. What should we do for here? For the counter? Should I do counters? I mean, we could. For the mirrors, I'm going to go with late night. These are like the perfect stinking mirrors for this. Mm, I guess we can do two of these. That would be kind of cute. Oh, well, actually, I have that new pack that I got. Finally, I got it when it was on sale earlier this year. Oh my god, the towel! Of course, girl, of course. Of course. I hope they're still able to use a shower though. Okay, so that's our little bathroom. Okay, let's change all these counters. Yeah, our fridge is gonna have to go over here. Okay, there's too much light now. Move. We're gonna do I guess we can do the rich fridge, this one. And we're gonna we're gonna make the appliances white though. With black accents. Yeah, that's cute. So the only problem is we really don't have a place for a stove. No, uh, that's gonna suck. I mean, I guess we can put it in front of the window, but it's just like weird. Who even needs a stove? <laughs> no, literally. Okay, and then we need a sinkatory. We'll do the sink over here, I suppose. I don't want to have cabinets in this kitchen. It's just gonna be an open concept. What we can do is have pans. Why not? Cute. And then over here, I want to do shelves. 
Ew. See, I was thinking it was going to be cuter than this, but unfortunately it's not. All right, we'll do that. And then maybe over here we'll just do like a little coffee machine or something. We'll do this one, the espresso machine. Ooh, a shelf like that could be kind of cool, but this is from Aurora Skies. That's kind of cute. I'm going to have to use this. Oh, it could always be changed with like, you know, a different shelf. All right, so that's the kitchen. She's kind of plain, kind of boring, but whatever. Okay, so now for the living room. We can have a little bit of fun here. I'm going to use this TV from high-end loft stuff. All right, now for the couch. So we probably, we can fit a tiny dining room behind the couch, I think. The question is, do I want to use an actual couch or do I want to do what I always like to do with the sectionals? Because I like to put these all together and make like an L-shaped couch. I think it's so cute. So it's considered a coffee table for some reason, but this little portion, it connects to the couch perfectly. So it's like an actual L-shaped couch. Look at how cute it is. Yes. Okay, that's kind of cute with the green. It brings a different color into the house too because it is very bland right now. Very bland and white. Okay, now for a coffee table this one this one's pretty basic but it's kind of nice maybe we'll just do this rug the basic rectangle one. Oh, that's a really cute bookshelf where is that from outdoor living stuff that is so freaking cute is that meant to go outside girl because i don't think so this is like the perfect lamp for this house but it's like where the hell do we put it i mean we could put it over here a shelf or something to connect it so it looks like a console oh uh, oh my god amanda with the ideas girl Let's make it match. I actually like the color of these bookshelves. Yeah, that'll do. That's kind of nice. Uh, I think over here, I wanted to do like a little foyer area, but I think we can do a mirror. Kind of like that. And then a little plant in this corner. Oh my God, look at how cute. This house is turning out so cute. Okay, let's change the color of this. That's really pretty. Oh my God. Hold on a minute because I kind of ate with that mirror. That is so freaking cute. It makes me want to vomit. Okay. So then over here, I have an idea. So with the new uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s pack, we got this freaking thing that it's like a little workout thing with a bag and the shoes. Look at how cute. Uh, all right. So we're going to have a tiny little dining room over here, a little squashed dining room. That works with me. It's a little lopsided from the living room area, but at least we have a dining room. There's this one painting with butterflies on it. It's gorgeous. Where's she at? There we go. So that's going to be our little feature for this wall. So over here, what we can do is do, I was going to say a full bookshelf wall. Uh, we could do this one from high end loft stuff and just connect the two. I'm wondering if we should match it with the bookshelves over here. Oh my God. Now they actually look like custom built in shelves, girl. Okay, that's cute. I like that. So that's our little corner. So now the master bedroom. I think we're going to go with this bed. That's kind of nice. I think this is going to be white. So we're going to do natural wood on the side, girl. Mm, you know what? We can do the candles. These candles are pretty nice. Oh, they would have this in their freaking house, girl. I just don't know if we have room. This could be an outdoor plant, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave that there just so I don't forget because I do want to include that somewhere. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. No, maybe we do the candles in the front. Move. You know what we could do over here if we want to be bougie is have this, you know, just a little screen moment. I hope the Sims are able to walk through there. I think they will be. So we're going to put this over here. I mean, we can make it like a whole little thing, you know, there we go. It looks built in. It's like a built in shelf, closet, wardrobe, whatever you want to call it, girl fabulous they already have an accent wall they don't need pictures on it you know you know like that's just the way it is so over here what should we do i might be lazy and just do another bookshelf area stunning oh my god look at how gorgeous this is very bougie okay let's do an office okay that's gonna be our desk area this is where we actually make business calls office work ew that's good enough it's very basic over here but you know what girl it's fine Okay, so over here, I want to have like an art easel and I don't know, maybe they're a freaking artist girl. Okay, so we're going to have this over there, the little paint stuff, paint brushes. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. I love this little thing. I think I'm just going to put like random little stuff in this shelf. Maybe an award, but I'm going to make them like aesthetic awards. Oh my God, how stunning. So I think our studio is done, girl. I'm done. Okay, so over here, we're just going to do a bar. I'm going to do this one from Showtime. I think we're just going to do a big old plant right here. Call it a day. And then over here, we're going to have a seating area for outside. So we'll do lounge chairs. Oh, we could have done lounge chairs over here. 
I forgot to do the freaking fire pit area. Oh my god. No, it's never gonna end. Oh, that one is so cute. Oh, you know what I do want to do? I'm going to be extra and add a little tiny bedside table. Uh, you know what? We can do this. They're, they're recycling a freaking crab net or whatever this is. Yeah, there we go. That's cute. And then I have such a cute idea. So you guys know how I said I got all the packs now. Look, we can put lemonade. All right, now we can do the campfire area. Campfire, the fire pit area. Okay, there we go. We'll just have three chairs like that. All right, so this is the final shell challenge. Let me give you a tour of the exterior first. So this is what the front of the house ended up looking like. We do have, you know, very big windows all over the place. It looks very modern. And then over here, CJ did like this little weird little wall thing. So this little area, I did decide to make it into a driveway. It worked perfectly. So over here, we have a little garden area where below our house, I was able to fit a garden. So your Sims can garden in this house. Over here, chat had an idea of doing a campfire. This is like my favorite part of the house right here. This is so cute. So I did end up making like an outdoor shower area over here. It is private. I did the tall fence. And over here, we have our jacuzzi oasis. How freaking beautiful it is. I even put the little rock stereo that came with the Sims outdoor stuff. I think it's called so your Sims can listen to music while they're out here. All right, so this is the front entrance. I kind of love it. Oh my God, she scared me. Ta-da! Welcome in. So over here we have some mirrors. We have our nice little living room slash dining room area. So pretty. This freaking like built-in console type of look with the bookshelves. And I also was extra and I ended up adding the little indoor garden, outdoor garden situation. This is gorgeous. I love it. Over here, this little weird shape, I was like, girl, this would be perfect for like a toilet and a little shower area. So that's exactly what I did. Looks very cute. The colors again that I went with are very bland, but I think it works for this type of house. And then over here, we have the kitchen. We have, oh my God, this view, you guys, is so cute. It's a very, very small kitchen, but I think we made it work. It's a little L shape. So over here, we have our little window hallway. It's very pretty. And then over here, we have the master bedroom i guess yeah i guess it would be the master bedroom if you guys want to use the bedroom upstairs as well as a bedroom but yeah this is what she looks like there's also a door in here for your sims to go out to the patio which is kind of nice to be honest but anyways this is what she's looking like so then we gotta go upstairs that's pretty much it for the downstairs oh i forgot to put ceiling you know what we're not gonna worry about it just pretend that they're they're ceiling there okay but anyways this is what the upstairs look like once you come up the stairs we have windows this way and we have windows this way anyways out here i don't remember who said let's have a bar but i did end up putting a bar and i just put a plant because i didn't know what else to put so and then over here on this balcony we have just a cute little seating area for your sims to lounge at and then over here we have the last room which again you guys can turn this into a bedroom if you want a family to live in here but i turned this into like a little office area we have the desk area over here with a laptop and then over here we have the painting area i love love it i love it that's pretty much it though that is everything again this was cj's shell challenge so thank you guys so much for hanging out <laughs>